Hello, Minaret students. This is Dr. Ching. We all miss you. We're here at the school making sure we're putting in plans to ensure that you guys can continue learning and keep the vision going and become better versions of yourself. But before I get into all that, I'd like to take the time to let a few people say hello and give you a sneak peek into what to expect in the coming weeks. Mr. Wilson here. I want to thank you guys for uh, keeping my hallways nice and clean. Uh, finally doing that. Hey, on a more serious note, I know you guys are uh, taking care of your families right now, doing the best you can, staying safe. All your teachers and us, we miss you, Mustangs. Do the best you can. Try to learn something each day. Go big, go pro, go now, and go Mustangs. Thanks, guys. Hey Mustangs, we're here at school and wishing you all were here with us. Just had a few points for you. One thing is that all of you with those outstanding late assignments, you're gonna have a couple more weeks to turn those in until April 3rd. Those of you that are doing, doing dual enrollment, don't forget the game is still on for you all. So stay strong. If you have any questions, reach out to me, reach out to your college instructor. And juniors, keep on practicing for that SAT or ACT. There'll still be summer test dates and plenty of times for you to practice. Seniors, we're doing all we can to keep senior year special and alive for you. We're definitely thinking about y'all. And for everybody, here's a chance to like keep thinking big picture. Get on to californiacolleges.edu, look at career options, go out on some virtual tours on different college websites, and you know, start thinking about future when you have time. What's up, Mustangs? Mrs. Chacon here. Hey, we miss you guys dearly. Um, thinking about you guys all the time. Um, just wanted to give a quick little um, info regarding registering for classes. Don't freak out. We're going to do it all virtual. You'll get what you need. We're going to take care of you. We love you guys. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you soon. Hi, fellow art students. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to have you guys do, so how about draw, paint, do something creative, look out your window, draw it. Um, here are some examples. You could possibly create like the uh, famous artists or combine a couple of famous artists like this student did. Uh, create sculptures out of found materials that you might have lying around your house. So in this case, some wood and paint to create this. Or maybe you want to create a sculpture more like this, where uh, this was some lined paper that was transformed into a flower. Or maybe something like this. Or Zentangle. Or drawing from life. You could go outside. What's around you? Draw it. Get creative. Wood burning. Find a log. Make something interesting. Or be a professional. In a few days, I'll have your websites updated on PowerSchool. You can check out some ideas there if you can't think of something to do to be creative. Hey guys, I hope you're all doing well and that you're safe. For Minaret C's, the regular classes, we are still going to be looking at the zombie outbreak, which is now interesting. Um, but we are looking at natural resources, so I will be putting some activities on PowerSchool for you guys to be looking at how um, natural resources would be valuable in a zombie outbreak or maybe a disease outbreak, either one. Um, for Minaret C's honors, we will continue to be looking at whether or not chocolate was good for the Ivory Coast in Africa. And digital journalism, we are going to be looking at um, some of the ethics when it comes into journalism and hopefully still doing some articles that is obviously going to take on a little bit different of a uh, edge now. But I'm still hoping for us to be able to get some articles put out there, um, keeping everybody informed and keeping people in the loop. Um, so yeah, thank you. That was creepy at the end. Hi Mustangs, just wanted to keep you abreast of what we got going on here. Sophomores, you're still working on your persuasive essay. And once you're done, I want you to make a 
presentation and screen capture it, much like this. Juniors, you have a big 500-point uh, final version of your junior thesis. So look on Power School, see my notes, and try to improve on that. Love you guys, and stay safe. Hi, kids. Missing you guys this week. Um, I am going to be getting some work together for you, and it will be on PowerSchool. Um, in the meantime, check your email, get caught up on past due assignments, and any work that you um, that you have to do for other classes. For English, please keep reading um, the Hunger Games book. Do your warm-ups. Um, for math, also do your warm-ups, and um, don't forget about iReady always being there for you. Hi guys, so here we are. I'm at school, you're not, that's not fair. Um, I am just wanting to check in with you and my minarets, you kids, you guys just have to keep doing your college courses. Uh, but I wanna hear from you, so check in with me. Email me, text me, I wanna hear from you. Uh, projects kids, I am emailing you out a list of all the assignments that you might be missing and I want you to get those done. You've got some extra time, we'll talk about that later, but you have some extra time to get those in. So no excuses, okay? And also, I just want all of you to stay healthy and safe. Oh, no glasses. 133, 134, 135. Oh, konnichiwa students. It's good to see you guys. I hope you're safe and sound at home here. Hold on, let me get my uh, coffee and my protein real quick. Uh, always remember, caffeine, creatine, you're living the dream. You guys will be getting some stuff out there on Power School in the next few days or so. Just know that if you are not on Remind, make sure that you do get on Remind because that will be how I'm going to keep in contact with you guys. If you guys need anything, you can message me through there. If you send me an email, or smoke signal, whoever you guys want to communicate. I'll get back to you guys as soon as we possibly can. So stay safe out there, wash your hands, do some push-ups, wash your hands afterwards. And yeah, go big, go pro, go now. And go Mustangs. Hello students. I hope you are relaxed on our little break here, but it is not a non-working break, so. I expect you guys to be busy starting with your Khan Academy. So go back into January, moving forward, make sure all your Khan Academy assignments are done. And on this St. Patrick's Day, my little uh, gift to you is everything we were working on last week, you have full credit for. A little Irish blessing for you. So pay attention to your emails and Power School and our rollout for the next couple weeks will be coming soon. Lots of changes going on right now, but I wanted to remind you about resilience. This lighthouse is getting beat down by these waves, and guess what? When they're gone, that lighthouse is still going to be standing up strong, just like us. Check your emails for messages from me. We're going to be doing Google Hangouts. Go outside. Get some sunlight, get some exercise. It's really good for your brain, especially in this change. And remember, I can't wait to see you. All right, hey everybody, uh, Mr. Land here. Just wanted to touch base about what we're gonna do going forward. So I'll keep it quick. Uh, for 12th grade, make sure that you're still on top of your project where we're reading uh, Old Man and the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. Finish out your presentations, make sure those are uh, robust and the quality that you would wanna see here at Minarets. Uh, for 10th grade, we are finishing up our unit on short stories, so make sure you have everything in that you need in terms of your assignments. Uh, I will be doing some screencasts and other things to get us going forward with our next project. Spanish, continue on with the one we just started, which is uh, the Survivor Project. Everything is in power school. Stay focused, stay plugged in, and uh, let's get to work. Good afternoon, Mustangs. It's your Ag department telling you what opportunities you'll have during our time off. 
So the first thing is that us Act teachers have been working together and we have developed an opportunity for you guys to earn an FFA credit. Um, we are going to be sending out information to you, but ICEV offers 13 different certifications uh, ranging from business uh, to animal science to small engines. Uh, these certificates look really great on a resume, uh, so if you want to participate in any of these opportunities, you can email one of us today and we'll send you the information. Other opportunities that are available to you um, as far as keeping up to date with science and your Ag Mechanics type classes would include ICEV courses that are available to you online. Um, there's other opportunities such as Journey 2050, which is an online game, Wild Watch Kenya, online field trips, online courses, and even um, welding tricks and tips to keep up to date with your Ag Mechanics classes. Um, please pay attention to Power School as far as pro point opportunities that are available per class. So we please encourage you that you make sure you take advantage of this time and that you really are working on any late work or any missing assignments, whether that be for our class or any classes at all. I know for Madison, if you have your farm project, um, parts one through four are due, so make sure you get those in. If you haven't worked on your agri-science boards, we will look the other way for a few weeks, but make sure you get those in as well. So just make sure you take advantage of your time. And now that brings us to the fair. Uh, entries will be due on April 10th, so make sure you um, keep uh, online and watching for updates from us as to getting those entries done. The first thing you have to do, and it's required by the state, is pass a test offered by YQCA, and that's a quality assurance test. You have to go online and sign up with yqca.org and it is a $12 fee that you're going to have to pay. There is a test online that's being taught by me which will have to be canceled due to the state restrictions on gatherings of, of people together. But make sure you um, keep in touch and keep sending us videos of you and your animals so that we can monitor your projects on a regular basis as we can't really come out to visit you at this time. Um, the last thing that we're going to address are the events. Most of you know that are on judging teams and other activities that events have been discontinued until at least the 18th of April. That leaves us with state leadership conference and state finals judging. Every Thursday I hit, I'm in a meeting that gets an update on what contests and what activities are still um, proposed and which ones have been canceled so we will give you an update as well as we can every Thursday about those activities we do know that Ag Sales is tentatively tentatively moved their state finals to May 30th we also have an idea that other state finals may be moved to the months of May and June depending on what the situation is statewide we want to remind you to get in touch with each one of your coaches so that you can keep up to date on what's happening. There are some virtual contests that we suggest you participate in. So we're looking forward to talking with each of you because we can still do that. And we, have, we hope that you have um, a fun-filled time with all the things that we're presenting for you to take part in. Thanks for joining us today. Hey media students, it's Mr. Ortiz. Just wanted to check in, um, let you guys know what's going on with your projects. Lucky for us, a lot of our projects can be done at home, so this will not really affect you too much. Uh, media One, you'll be finishing your news project in the next couple weeks, um, and I'll be adding a new project pretty soon to Power School, so make sure to check that. Media Two students, uh, same boat finish your masking project and be on the lookout for power school for new projects. Uh, advanced media, I will be adding a new project there pretty soon. I'm working on it now. So just kind of stay on top of power school, check that regularly. I will also send uh, reminders out via remind. So make sure you're added to that if you're not or check with a friend. Um, and, and as always, if you have any issues with projects, please feel free to text or email me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Hey, Mr. Grimes here. I just want to let you guys know that I'll be posting updates on the daily update section and our homepage on PowerSchool. I'm also going to be posting videos 
in chapter four and chapter five if you want to work on missing assignments. And I'm going to be posting different resources and videos in the College Project Help tab if you are still working on your college project. But in the meantime, just stay tuned to that daily updates page for all future assignments or resources. If you have questions, you can send me an email or you can message me on PowerSoft. Hey, Minaret's Music. If you have an instrument at home, get to playing, get to practicing. Uh, there'll be some things we put out uh, that'll help you, maybe some challenges, some different skills we can do. If you don't have an instrument at home, log on to musictheory.net, get through some exercises and some lessons. But more to come soon. Have a great time. What's up, Mustang? Shout out to Mustang Nation. Wait, are we <laughs> Did you say go? What's up, Mustangs? Mr. Hansen? And Mr. Smolgen, what's up, Mustang Nation? Uh, Calculus, Math 3, Stats, make sure you guys are all checking Power School. I'm going to be posting assignments on there uh, for you guys to do. Uh, it'll only help your grade. I'm not going to be docking anyone down if they don't um, complete it. But if you want some extra points, get in there and get those assignments done. Hey, if you have my PE classes, stay physically active. There's no reason you guys can't go outside, take a walk, ride your bikes. If you're indoors, there's no reason you can't watch some YouTube videos on uh, workouts. So um, check Power School, I'll be posting videos next week and keeping you guys linked up with staying physically active. Run five miles. Minaret students, as you know, our motto is go big, go pro, go now. And as you also know, that vision, that dream never stops. You guys have amazing tools at your fingertips with your MacBooks, all the apps, and of course, all the resources out there on the internet. We want you guys to push yourselves. We want you to explore. We want you to dream big and start taking steps to make yourself better. That's what it's all about. School may be on hold, but learning never stops. We know that you guys want to be great. We all love you. We care about you. Stay healthy. Keep your social distancing, distancing intact. Stay posted on news and how, how you can better uh, protect yourself and your family but but in addition to all that remember that we're all lifelong learners and Mustangs we want you to keep it going we're going to be pro providing a lot of different opportunities for you guys there's going to be some project contests there's going to be a lot of opportunities for you guys to shine keep the dream alive go big go pro go now and go Mustangs